My name is Chris Hendershot. I'm one of the co-owners of Cartridges Galore Video Games. What gave you that idea to start the business? The business, uh, it was started in 2013, and uh, what gave us the idea would be back maybe five to ten years ago, there was a there was a industry change in video games where these old games started being a lot more popular. Like guys my age were graduating and making a little bit of money and they wanted what they had back when they were a kid. So, uh, what gave us the idea to start the business was there was a huge change in the video game industry and we knew there was a market for these old games that people wanted to play again. Did you ever think that it would be successful? Successful? Yeah, I thought, I thought it would be successful. I don't know about this successful. So at, we expanded to 10 stores. Our first one was downtown in Cumberland. And uh, my business partner and I, we actually both had a, another job at the time. and. It was nice little income on the side, but I don't think we ever envisioned it being growing to 10 different locations in three different states. That was a little bit crazy. I'd say any business, regardless of the industry, you know, we deal in retail video games, but any business is built on customer service. So we always try to handle the customers uh, as if you know they're our own, if they're a family. And I think so our, our business is built on customer service and treating people fairly, but at the same time, it's a, it's a cool niche where I think you, you also have to have the product that people are interested in, and I think we have that too. We have a lot of stuff that people ooh and ah over when they see it, and it, it gets people excited again. Unlike going into a GameStop or Best Buy, I think we have a nostalgic feel to what we do. Do you feel you provide the best way to purchase games in the tri-state area? In the tri-state area, yeah, I think, I think we absolutely do. You know, we don't always get the brand new releases that just came out on the day they came out. However, everything else, I'd say 99% of video gaming, uh, we're very competitive. We, we offer the lowest prices on uh, pre-owned games and consoles and accessories and, and you name it. Uh, we're, we're establishing ourselves as pretty much the place to go in Maryland and Pennsylvania and West Virginia. Do modern systems and games make up a majority of what is bought and sold? We're starting to deal in a lot more of like the brand new stuff, especially the college kids are playing now, like the, the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. Whereas when we first opened this business back in 2013, we were dealing with pretty much strictly what would be considered retro, which would be considered uh, old school. Now I think we've really graduated to carry most of the new stuff, that the brand new stuff that's out. So to answer your question, yes, I'd say 75% of what we sell now is newer consoles. What retro systems do customers seem the most interested in? Customers kind of have changed over the years. So as, as time goes on, the interest in different systems changes too. So, so for college age kids now, what they had when they were younger might be something like a Nintendo GameCube or a Nintendo 64, the Wii. Whereas my age and my generation was more about, like about the original Nintendo and original PlayStation and stuff like that. So. Um, it changes with generation, and I think right now what's hot or what's really selling well would be like uh, the GameCube or Nintendo 64 is really popular, the Mario Karts and things like that. How do you determine whether or not a particular area is worth expanding to? We started out in Cumberland and we slowly grew to places like Hagerstown and Altoona and Morgantown, West Virginia, where WVU is. Um, it, it's a combination of things. We don't just take a shot in the dark and say, hey, I wonder if this town will work. There really has to be the right recipe of the population and the lack of competition. So the way we choose where we want to go and expand our business, um, we try to look to see who's currently there. Are there other competitors out there? This isn't just for video games. Like if you're just starting a new business, you don't want to go where the biggest competitors are and try to butt heads with them. So we were trying to be selective and go to different cities where we would be kind of like the big fish in a small pond, and also where there's the population to support a business like ours. Are online sales a large part of your business? Online sales are, yeah. Online sales probably account for about a third of our business, so I'd say 33%. 
Uh, without getting into exact numbers and things like that, um, we use Amazon and we use eBay. And I would say in any given day, we probably ship out between 50 and 100 orders per day. So it is a, is a big part of our business. I think games kind of connect the generations and I think games kind of bring people together. At the same time, I think if you're by yourself and you're just you know, sit in your dorm room by yourself, you can still enjoy video games. So it's it kind of the thing that I think video games are so popular, um, I, I think that they, uh, people relate to characters and people relate to games and can be larger than life on video games. And, and that's, uh, it gives people a, a, a fantasy almost. It gives people like a, a place to be something maybe bigger and than they maybe are in real life. I don't know, but I think games are something that everybody can relate to. If you really love video games, or even if you're not really familiar with video games, come check us out, come and see what we have to offer. We've um, had a lot of success over the last five or six years. We've grown from one little store in downtown Cumberland, probably the size of a dorm room, to 10 stores all over the, uh, all over the region. And it's been a lot of fun, but if you get the chance, come on down, 